Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angie and this is Our Contented Home. So today's video is the first in a series. What I want to do is refresh my patio, get it all cleaned up, and get it ready for us to use it this summer. We like to grill, we like to be outside, the evenings are longer, and we just want to clean it up so we can enjoy it. I haven't had a lot of time to work on my patio this week. I'm going to start with showing you how I painted my door. The door wasn't bad, I was just ready for a change and a new color. And that's the good thing about paint. You can change up a space, make it look totally different with not a lot of money. So you'll wanna stay tuned to watch all my videos about my patio refresh, cause I guarantee you it's gonna be good. Today I'm gonna to be working on painting this door. It's not in bad shape, but I'm just ready for a change. This color is Park Bench by Fusion Mineral Paint. And this paint is wonderful. I can't say enough about it. I just want to change it up to another color, get a new wreath, freshen it up. I freshen up my patio area. I think that it just needs this color change just to tie everything in. The first thing I want to do is take down this wreath. I'm going to start by cleaning the door. I'm going to clean it with some warm soapy water because this door has a lot of pollen on it. You could just do it with anything. You could use TSP, you could use Windex on it, just anything to get the grease and the dirt off. So I'm gonna go outside, get my soapy water and get it all cleaned up. You could tape this glass off with uh, blue painter's tape if you would like to, but for me, I'm just going to paint it and then if I get anything on the glass, I'll just scrape it off with a razor blade. That's just easier than doing this and I'm trying to beat the rain. It's supposed to rain tomorrow and I want to have this door finished before the rain gets here. This is what I'm using today. So this is a uh, whiz and it's just rollers and then this is for cabinets, cabinets, doors and more and my favorite paintbrush, which is this little small paintbrush, two and a half, it's for walls and trim. This is my favorite. It's easy to work with. It's flexible and I'll link all this down below if you're interested in these products. I'm using Fusion Mineral Paint in the color Putty. And let's see how this turns out. So I like to paint these sections first with the paintbrush, and then I'll go back with my roller and get the other parts. I've got this painted and I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom and then I will do that window part last because it's my least favorite. So when you roll this, you roll it with the grain. So this you would roll down, you would roll this um, horizontally, horizontally, vertical on the side and you just keep with that. If you don't, it your door will look um, it won't look good. So let's get started on that and I'll show you what I'm talking about. OK, 
Okay, y'all, I did paint one coat of paint on this wood on the window, and then I just scraped it off with a razor blade, but it was so much work. So I found this product called Masking, Masking Liquid H2O, and you just paint it on the window, let it dry, um, paint your whatever you're painting, and then you just score it with a razor blade, peel it right off. And I'll link it below for you because I love this product. Okay, and this is what it looks like when it's on. And I did several different ways. Like that one, I just put it on the edges. And then here, I painted the whole pane. So, just wanna see if it's necessary to paint the whole glass or if you can just do it on the edges and then just peel it off. So, we'll let it dry and then we'll peel it off. After your masking liquid H2O has dried for about two hours, you can begin painting. And if you get any paint on it, it doesn't matter because you just peel it right off. Then comes the fun part. You just score it with a razor blade and you peel it right off and you have a neat paint job. I love this product and it is so easy to use. The patio space is not finished. I just finished this door and I'll be doing a big reveal at the end of my series, but I will show y'all the finished door without a wreath or any decorations. Here's the finished color on the door. I love how it turned out and I love this color. I will be working on this space more in the coming weeks and I can't wait to show you the big reveal of the whole area and how much it has changed over time and how beautiful it's going to be. Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you would hit the subscribe button. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram at Our Contented Home. See you next week. Bye-bye.